Welcome to another video for your emergency medicine boards. Today we are going to look at the specialty learning outcome 5 that is pediatrics. Let us look at the question now. 8 year old child is in the emergency department with a rash on his face as given in the image. He appears stable. What is the treatment of choice? There are a few steps here. This question is asking us to first identify the rash, then think about the organism and then the appropriate treatment. Either you know it or you don't. So take a pause and make your choices. Let us now look at the explanation given. So what is the diagnosis over here? If you guys think it is impetigo, it is correct. Does it look bullous or crested will be the next question. I would say the image looks crusted over here. It is honey colored lesion on the upper lip. So what is the organism? Some would say Staphylococcus aureus. I would disagree. Remember Staphylococcus aureus would have coagulase in it. It will coagulate and form an abscess or bulla. If this would have been a bullous impetigo, then Staphylococcus aureus would be the right answer. However, when you look at the streptococcal species, they have something called as hyaluronidase and your skin basement membrane is made up of hyaluronic acid. Hence, you get cellulitis or impetigo or uh, erysipelas. Hence, what is the organism over here? The organism over here would be strep pyogenes. What complication can occur despite you giving the right treatment? Remember, strep pyogenes can cause a throat infection and skin infection, which we are seeing here, which is impetigo. And the complication which can happen is something called as post-streptococcal glomerular nephritis, which happens about two to three weeks later. And the patient can come with hematuria, lethargy, deranged renal function, and when you get a urine dipstick, you will see proteins and you will see blood in it. So, what would be the answer over here? Eight-year-old child with a rash on his face. He appears stable. What is the treatment of choice? Comoxiclav, Flucloxacillin, Penicillin V, Reassure, Pain Management, Topical Mupirocin. Comoxiclav appears to be quite broad spectrum. So I would not recommend if the child appears stable. Fluclox is a good cover for something related to Staphylococcus aureus, although it has some cover for strep as well. Penicillin V can be a choice for strep, but uh, child appears very stable to me. So the right answer over here is using topical mupirocin. Thank you for watching this video. If you are liking the content, please do hit the like, share and subscribe button. If you would like to contribute to my work, you can press the thanks and join button. Happy studying. Peace.